Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Grimace by Tony Zampini. So we have normal 6x6 Sudoku rules, meaning in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box, we are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have these teal lines in the grid. These are modular lines. So what we do is we take any set of three adjacent digits along the line, such as these three, these three, these three, and any set adjacent set of three digits um, have to have one of each, uh, have to have a distinct remainder after dividing by three, right? Um, so one is modulo zero, modulo one, modulo two, if you know the math term. But basically, if you think about it as just three groups, one of them is one or four, one of them is two or five, one is three or six. So if I put, say, a three here, that in the, within these three, I can't put another three or six because I already have one from three, six. I could then say, put a one here or a four here maybe. And that, that would be the, the one uh, of these three from the, from the modular zero, uh, from the modular one group. And then two or five, I could do say a two or a five. And so here, this three, four, five has one of each, but I could also do three, four, two. If this two weren't here, I could do three, four, two or three, one. 312 or 612. What I can't do is like 3 and 6 like this or 3 and 6 like this because this group of 3 would then not have one of each. All right, and that's true of every group of 3 along the line. These 3 and these 3 and these 3 and these 3, etc. Uh, and that's it. Those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. Okay, so the first thing to do is with modular lines, and this is also true of entropic lines. They're basically modular and tropic lines are the same thing, just with different groups. But because let's think about it this way: this group of three here at the start of the line needs one of each of the uh, groups, the the modular groups. So I'm going to use a color for each of those. I'm going to use green, purple, and orange as my three colors there. So we don't know which group is which, but there's the green group, there's the purple group, and there's the orange group. We haven't discovered which is which yet, but we know that we're going to have one of each group here by the rules. So now if I look at these three, I already have a purple and an orange, so I'm missing the green. So this one has to be green. And now this group here, it has the orange and the green, but it's missing the purple. So you're going to see that we end up cycling. We're going to go green, purple, orange, 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 green, purple, orange. Okay, now the... I'm not going to color this one yet until we know exactly how it lines up with what these groups are. But basically all we need to know is these two are the same group as each other. Um, so the other thing that we know is if you especially you can see if we inspect this row here, there's always going to be two greens, two purples and two oranges in every row, column and box. Because, you know, if you think about it, uh, there's one and four in one of the groups, there's two and five in one of the groups, and there's three and six in one of the groups. So there's going to be two of each in every row column box. So what are we going to do with that? Um, are there any that we can guarantee a color for? So we can narrow down what certain colors aren't, right? We know that green is not the one four group because we cannot put a one in either of these. So these are these are either two, five, or three, six. We know that this one's not two. Um, so if this one's not two, this one actually can't be five because this is five. That means green is the two, five group. This would have to be two, right? Um, we're not too worried about that. We're just trying to identify groups here. Uh, we have two oranges here, so we know orange is not the one, four group either. Uh, it is also from the uh, two, five, three, six, right? So. If orange, and this isn't three, and so then this isn't six. So if orange is not the one four group and green is not the one four group, that means purple is the one four group. So in all these purples, we can immediately put one four. And we can, of course, uh, these, these resolve by the givens. So there we go. Um, we have some digits. <laughs> so now we know that this cell here cannot be purple, and neither can this one. So in this group of three, which one's going to be purple? Because we have both of these purples used. It means this one's going to be purple. And so this is a one four, but it can't be four because of the box. So that's our one. All right, so that's good progress on purple. Now I wonder if we can do more with that. Um, oh, we know this one's purple because in this one's purple because one four are purple. And this box needs another green. So this is going to be green. This box needs another orange. So this is going to be orange. Um, okay, what's next? 
This column here, we have two oranges and two purples, so that makes this green. So now we know green has to be the 3, 6. So that's a 6. We know that orange is not 3, 6, so it's a 2, 5 pair. This is going to be 3, 6. So this is going to be 2, 5. This is going to be 3, 6. This is going to be 2, 5. In fact, I'm, I'm just going to take all the oranges. These both have to be 5 because they see the 2. So 2 is orange. Um, 2 and 5 there. This is a uh, 3, 6 as well. Okay. This is going to be 6. That resolves 3 and 6 here. So um, now we just need to think about, I guess, the rest of this. Is there just Sudoku to do? I mean, we know these two are the same color. So can these be, these can't be purple because it sees a 1, 4. Oh, I mean, there's already a purple in the line here. Um, this is the only one that we get two of a color on. So we already have a purple. That's not going to work. Um, so is it 2, 5, I guess, is one of the questions. Uh, if they were both 2, they could be the 2, 5 group. 3, 6, they would have to both be 3, because these both see the 6. They both see the 5 and the 6. So these are a 2, 3. This can Oh, this can't be green. That's the important bit. This column has green already. So if it can't be green and it can't be purple, then it's orange. It's the 2, 5. That means that these are the green 3s. All right. Perfect. We got that line done. So now I think it should just be Sudoku. We can do coloring, though. This column needs two oranges. That's going to be two five. We know this can't be five. So we get the two and the five and the two and the five and the two and the five. Nice. All right. This needs to be purple, and it is the uh, four. All right. Here we need a orange. Uh, basically, we need a two, which goes here, and that's orange. And then we need a six, and that goes there, and it's green. That gives us three and six there. That gives three there. All right, let's just finish the coloring first before we accidentally finish the puzzle before we finish the coloring. That's purple, that's purple, and then that's green. All right, so that's six, that's four, that's one, and we're done. All right, uh, neat use of entropic, not entropic, modular lines, <laughs> Tony. Um, yeah, there, there was some interesting logic there. Uh, the givens, basically thinking about what color the givens had to be really narrowed things down, and then... Um, certain cells not being able to be two out of the three groups was also helpful. So um, cool. I hope you enjoyed this as well. If you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below. Mm -hmm.